guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i actually wanted to play with some neutral colors today of course you guys seen the title i'm actually using my favorite neutral palette or palettes from my collection i love and enjoy playing with color i think it suits me really well but i also been loving creating neutral looks just because i do have a lot of people that enjoy the neutrals and of course i want to learn more about doing different neutral looks you know what i'm saying also i wanted to finally announce that i came up with an uploading schedule so my schedule will be every sunday wednesday and friday so those three days out of the week i will be uploading so definitely if you haven't subscribed hit that notification bell so when i do upload all those days you'll be the first one to watch my videos of course all right guys so with that being said let's get right into the video and of course you know i'm not gonna do a tutorial without these line and define change from elf if you haven't definitely go and get some so for primer i actually want to go in with the anastasia primer and I'm gonna take that and blend that all over my lid, of course. Alright guys, so lids are all finally primed. I went with, obviously, like I said, my two favorite neutral palettes. Anytime I want to create a nice neutral caramel, smoky vibe type of everyday look, I always grab these two palettes. Okay, so the first palette, I know you guys seen it a bunch of times in my channel, but it's the Milani Pure Passion Palette. This is what it looks like. Personally, I think it's one of the best neutral palettes that I've seen. Like, some neutral palettes is just my boring but this one kind of like gets me all in the like mood to actually create a nice smoky neutral look and then for my second palette which is the milani gilded gold palette this is what it looks like again beautiful neutral palette i love the fact that you get a little pop of color in the sense of like this nice emerald green here this gold is wonderful you get a different amount of tones of brown you got this reddish brown this dark chocolate brown these two nice tan colors up there the shimmers are wonderful so we're gonna use mostly this palette but i think i want to go in with the pure passion one and use the shimmers from there all right guys so starting off we're gonna go into the pure passion palette and we're gonna grab this nice light shade right here and use that as my first transition color we're gonna take this wear and wild brush and pack that baby in there and blend that in all right guys so while i'm blending this color in, i have so much to talk to you guys about because i am super excited for this month of january so i actually purchased a planner thanks to the push that my best friend liz um gave me because literally when i tell you i've been filling that baby up with to do things videos ideas so i actually created my schedule based on my planner just because how everything played out it really just showed me that i can upload three days a week which was initially the amount of videos that i actually wanted to do a week was three so yesterday i put all of my little index cards together that I've been writing down all the videos that I actually want to do for the channel and I put them all in my planner and when I tell you oh, I felt more organized and just ready to just tackle the month of January literally when I tell you guys oh my god get ready for this month because I have so much good content coming out it's not even funny so i ended up planning all three weeks for the month of january and the videos are so freaking cool i'm excited because i'm actually gonna do a couple vlogs for the channel um which i'm super excited because i love shopping and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna start bringing you guys with me also i went the other day to ulta and I actually finally got a skincare routine, which I'm super excited because the products that I was using, girl, they were drying my face out. And I was just, oh, uh, it was horrible. So that's also a video that I'm super excited to film. It might not come out in January just because obviously I already planned everything. But the fact that I finally got a skincare routine going on, maybe by next month I'll be able to film my um skincare routine for you guys because literally i'm so excited for this um skincare journey i'm going also really quick i have to shout out my girl shelby i'm gonna link her um instagram uh, down because she's literally the best also employee like i went in there for skincare and you know when sometimes it just feels like somebody's just wanting to sell you something 
like when I met her, I feel like the energy we just connected. It felt like my friend was literally helping me out with my skincare and shopping. And we spoke about YouTube. We spoke about so many things. She literally subscribed to my channel right there in front of me. Such a beautiful, just cute, sweet girl. I'm so happy I met her. So if you are in the local Waterbury um, area, definitely go check her out because she, like I said, so knowledgeable, so sweet, and she knows what she's doing. So moving on to the Gilded Gold palette, I wanna go into this shade Extra Basic right here. And I'm gonna apply that right where we apply the first shade. So I'm gonna take that again and really just run it right under the shade we applied first and dragging it out because you know I love a nice winged out eyeshadow. Oh, I love it. Also, what I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that my channel is almost at 60 makeup lovers, which I cannot like. You guys are so amazing for subscribing to my channel. Like, you don't understand how much I love you guys. Like, the support is just amazing. I think I want to do a giveaway. I'm actually going to do a post on Instagram to see what people would like to see or receive in a giveaway. But I think I should give back to my little makeup lovers that have been supporting my channel. So I'm gonna leave my Instagram on the screen so you guys can definitely go follow me there because I will be asking um, my little makeup lovers over there and see what I should come up with a good way. I love giving. The fact that people are giving me their time to subscribe and watch my videos and just the support is just amazing. I, why not give right back, right? I wanna take this color right here from the Pure Passion palette and run that just a little bit in my hood just so I could deepen that out just a bit. All right, so now I wanna go into this shade right here called Femba, this nice reddish brownie color. I'm gonna take that just to, again, make a little gradient between all these colors. All right, guys, so this is looking so yummy. So we're gonna go into the shade Legacy right here, this nice chocolate brown. I'm gonna take a wet and wild brush, and we're gonna deepen out the outer V. All right, so we're gonna take that right here and just start placing it and blending in a circular motion and obviously dragging it out but concentrating the color right in the outer corner. All right guys, so for shimmer, I'm thinking about going into the Pure Passion palette and choosing this Lust and Illuminous shade right here. And we're gonna wet the brush and see how that applies. All right guys, so as you can see, the first shimmer is down. This is looking so pretty. So I initially wanted to cut my crease, but I'm like, no, I don't. I actually want to try something out. So I took this M508 brush from Morphe. Do you see how small and little it is? So I took that and I wet it with a setting spray. And then I went into the palette. We're actually gonna take this and carve out my crease. Like doing a cut crease, but with the shimmer. I went and started shaping out where I wanted, of course. Boom. And of course I have hooded eyes. So I'm just gonna take it just a slight bit higher than my hood. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take this pack of brush from Wet n Wild collaboration with Brand Rock, one of my favorite pack of brush, and I'm gonna spray it and go right back into the shade. Now we're just gonna place the color in and pat it into place. You see that? Oh yes, honey, that is cute. All right, so we're gonna go into another shimmer just to blend that out at the end, which I did on this side. This is the Crown Jewel shade right here. So pretty. I'm gonna take that with the same pack of brush we used before, and I'm just gonna apply that on the edge right here. Oh, it's like a nice chocolate brown type of shimmer. Like, loves it. Alright guys, so eyes is all completed, so now we're gonna move into the face. So for primer water, which I've been loving to do, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Cucumber Prep and Prep Set and Refresh. This is so yummy. It literally preps your skin and it gives you, oh, it smells just like cucumber. Mm. 
so for a primer i am excited because i'm actually trying a new primer oh so it's the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer so it says soothing and then it says rose ship and argan oil and pore perfecting this is what it looks like let's pump this out oh this is thick you guys like you see that oh my god so i'm gonna rub it in my hands oh when i tell you guys this is thick like thick thick so i'm gonna place that here right here and then all over my face of course oh it smells so freaking good mm, yes honey give me that so i usually take my setting powder and set my primer just to control oil and shine and make my foundation last but because this actually has so many good claims i'm not gonna do that today i'm just gonna go in with foundation of course but first we're gonna go and apply some concealer i'm actually gonna take the elf hydrating camo concealer i haven't used this in so long i actually had to go pick up another one at ulta because i completely ran out out of the other one all right guys so while this dries down just a little bit more just for extra coverage i'm gonna go coat my lashes with the urban decay provision bigger blacker batter um mascara this is what it looks like one of my favorite high-end mascaras just because it's not clumpy it's really stupid black all right so i'm gonna take my little camo concealer um sponge and we're gonna just blend this baby out All right, guys, so for foundation, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite foundation at the moment, which is the Born This Way foundation, and this is in the shade Nude. So I usually go in with two little pumps, and I'm going to blend that all over my big old face. Guys, right, so foundation is on, and when I tell you I am liking this freaking primer so far, like, I could barely even tell my pores are there like i do have really big pores but so far so good all right so let's set these under eyes before they start creasing so i'm gonna go in with my maybelline fit me powder literally one of my favorites this one right here and i am in the shade 15 light so i'm gonna take this and apply this here and really set these under eyes in so to bronze this face up, we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. One of my favorite bronzers so far. I really can't stop using it. So I like starting from up here and really packing that color in. Mm. It just looks so freaking good. Like... And for blush, I also decided to go in with the Primer Infuse Blush in Always Rosy. This is literally the shade that I love going for when it comes to blush. If it's not this nice rosy color, I love a coral um, shade too. But I love these. So I like taking the e.l.f. Stipple Brush, going in there with some product, dust it off, and then just apply this baby in. And it's just so... Oof. I think it's so pretty and I like mixing it with my bronzer but it's literally one of my favorite blushes ever so to highlight this face we're gonna take this baby out and it's the artist couture loose diamond powder oh when I tell you these are so freaking pigmented and stupid blinding the only thing is that they're a little messy but whatever it's just freaking powder but they are amazing. We bought a highlighting brush this time. I went and bought the Pro Highlight 98 brush from Sephora. And I got this at TJ Maxx. And it was only $3.99. Because I was not going to spend all $15 on a brush. So I'm going to take this baby and coat it really well. And we're going to just highlight this face. Oh, oh, do you see that? Like, oh, I love really good brush actually Ooh, do you see that come on artist couture honey you did that lord before we go and finish off smoking out the bottom lashes i want to go in with a new pair of lashes that i actually got from tj maxx so these are the pure pro eyelashes 3d cruelty free faux minx lashes and it says they are good for up to 30 wears 
this is what it looks like this packaging is so cute for freaking eyelashes like i am in love i never really tried any eyelashes that are really separated like this so i'm excited while my lash glue dries i want to go in with lips really quick so i'm gonna go in with the milani easy liner for lips this is the shade most natural one of my favorite colors and then i'm gonna go in with the milani matte satin liquid lipstick in the shade lavish but for gloss i want to go in with the elf lip lacquer this is my favorite it's supposed to be clear but i use it over my new lipstick all the time so just don't mind the color to smoke out these bottom lashes we're gonna go in with this color right here first on the elf dome blending brush and take that and we're gonna run that right under here and then to smoke that color we're gonna go in with a little morphe brush into this color called legacy and smoke that out I think I want to put a little shimmer on my tear duct. So I'm going to go in with the shade Ultra Gilded, this gold, on this little Morphe brush. And I already hit pan on this because literally it's my favorite gold. So we're going to take that and apply it right on my tear duct. Just for a little... Wow. Alright guys, so last step of course is setting spray. So I'm going to go in with the Manali Make It Last Best freaking setting spray in the entire world of course okay so this is literally the final look using these two amazing neutral palettes again this is a little bit extra with the neutral but this is the type of neutral i would do it's super easy to do again milani is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas they're so good pigmented creamy blends and you could create literally something like this something even softer or bold color which i've done before definitely go check these milani products out because i keep telling you they are so good all right guys so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy the video give it a thumbs up let me know what's your favorite part of the video in the comments below just to remind you guys there's three videos every single week sunday wednesdays and fridays so hit that notification bell so you would never miss an upload i'm telling you it's gonna be good but i want to thank you guys again and i will see you in my next video Bye-bye, guys.